We are traveling down Highway 87 on Boulevard Peninsula in Texas, right along on the Gulf. The Gulf of Mexico. And we're staying at the Boulevard Peninsula RV Resort through Passport America. We're Dave and Karen from Locks on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Here in this video, you will see what we did when we had a storm coming through and tornadoes were spotted. There's the office that you check into, and they got the pull-throughs pull up front. I'd say these are, what do you think, Dave, 60 feet long? Oh, more than that. Yeah? It's 80 foot. Well, we would have been able to get the truck in there if it were 80. Yeah, we are. We could have. We could have pulled it all the way to the edge here. Yeah, okay. So the good and long, uh, kind of gravel and grass. Everybody gets a picnic table on a slab. 50 amp. There's probably about, what, 100 sites in here? Not that many. Actually, these are just picnic tables over Those here. Are just picnic tables. Oh, okay. So they let you park across the street from your RV if you need to. That's us right there. We're in site 13. This is the first time I've been to a park where they actually had pull-ins instead of back-ins because they have a little lake over here. And so motorhomes can pull directly in. So all the electrical and everything's on the opposite side of what you're used to. And that way they have a view of the lake. They got a pavilion over here. And it's got a little refrigerator and a countertop, picnic tables. Grill and smoker. Oh, they have a grill and a smoker. And then they got a storage barn. And then this is just um, storage over here. Maybe we should tell uh, Carl from Time Bandit RV Travels that there's another bus sitting over here. Oh, yeah. Yay, keeping the ground flat. Gotta appreciate that. Then they got the a laundry trailer. And it's a, a shower washeter trailer. It's a washateria. Washateria. That's what the sign says. Washateria. You have to have a code to get into the bathroom. I guess there's two of them there. And they have a shower, toilet, sink. Pay for. And it's two dollars per shower. Which I find very odd. And then I don't know what the laundry is. Probably a buck, a buck and a quarter or something. And there's a looks like there's about eight of them in there. Never seen set up like that before. I guess if you're in a hurricane area, might be a good way to do it. Then you just pop up another trailer. This time of year is off season, so it's pretty sparse back here. And it's just one big loop. And these are back ends down here. These are pretty deep, too. You can pick your own spot. You can get mail here. I guess they're here for a while. They got their own chimichia. Mm -hmm. Fire pit thing. Site 92. Well, they got to yeah. have quite a few. So there's your leg, and then they got back ends over here as well. well that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Porch is bigger than the RV. Outside living. They have those. Uh, ugly looking ducks around here and if you start to feed them they will bother you all day long it's about what was it about uh, 40 minutes to get to to get to the ferry boat to go to Galveston which is free and then that takes about 15 minutes to get across you may have to wait to get on board for a while this guy's got lake view for shopping around here they just have like little local grocery stores liquor stores 
Um, they went to the Hardhead Bar on a Friday night and they closed at 9 because of all se off season. Sites are the average width, I would say, for most sites. But they're fairly long, so you got pretty good room. Out these homes in Bolivar Peninsula. I find stilts. There's a lot of them in here. That's a dead end street. Beach parking. What does it say? Sticker required. We're not parking. That's right. We have a couple guys are talking about how they boondock on some of these beaches out here. Hey guys, talk about how gets up in the morning and his tires are in the water. The little tide was a little higher than he expected. See, there's SC barrel mm. number fifty-two. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I trust this beach. It's pretty soft, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're driving out. Well, it's a lightweight car. The guy had a heavy motor home. Yeah. But I don't know what those beaches look like. Oh, they got a little crapper over there. That's cool. And there's your potty. We got a rainstorm coming in, so it's looking pretty cloudy right now. And there's all the pretty houses right on the beach. Well, so we're just driving down the beach, and uh, looks like. Zippy didn't like it. <laughs> so Karen came to the rescue and pushed Zippy out. Then we took the free ferry boat across to Galveston, Texas, so that we could ride along the beach and check out that area.
Lane two, straight ahead. Lane two, straight ahead. Oh, yeah, we can bring the big rig on this side. Nope. What do you mean? Yeah. Maximum length is 65 feet. It's free. No cost. Random screening. Whoa. along the ocean in Galveston and they got a park out here. It is a very hazy day today. A lot of salt water blowing in. Yeah. I got all kinds of stores and souvenirs and restaurants down here. I don't know who they are but they got them out here practicing, rolling in the sand, flipping over tires and I don't think anybody's out there today. Doesn't appear to be. We decided to take the ferry boat back the next day because the weather was a little bit better and we went to eat at Bubba's. Looks like, uh, what is that? Bubba Gump's is open. Bubba Gump's got good food. That's right. You ask Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. He'll tell you. We also went to Jose's Mexican restaurant, which was only about two miles away from the park. And the food was really good, and they happened to be having a big party there that night. So we got to listen to the band as well. Pre Mardi Gras. And then came the storm. This is what the weather radar looks like right now. We're right here at this little blue dot. And when I hit the future button here, it's looking kind of ugly. A tornado watch remains in effect until 4 a.m. Central Standard Time for southeastern Texas. Then some tornadoes were spotted across the bay from us. Impact. Expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Well, we are going to pack up our stuff and close our slides and go to the truck because uh, tornadoes have been spotted on the other side of the bay. Yeah, okay. So we figure we're going to go to the truck in the meantime. We're going to pull the slides in until it's over with. Well, we're hunkered down in the truck right now. They say tornado warnings where we're at. And Port Boulevard. So we're gonna hang out to the weather passes. It's just starting to get to us. We're right there, that little blue dot. The rain has started. Um, they're saying up to 60 mile an hour winds. We've closed all of our slides and we're just gonna sit in the truck until it passes. Yeah, it's picking up a little bit. It's the gust that we're really worried about. Yeah. 60 mile an hour gust. So there have been damage done already. Feel so the truck moving a little bit now and then. It ended up just being a really bad thunderstorm for us with some gusts, but there was no damage at our campground and everything went back to normal. It's always good to be prepared. We packed a bag with one day of clothing, our medications, telephones, cameras, computer and flashlights. So it's always good to be prepared just in case. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.